This is the 05 Pepper Bridge Cabernet. Uh, similar in mix to the 06, about 50% from each of our two main vineyards. Uh, 05 was a bigger year, quite hot year. And uh, the, the wines to me have another layer or two of, of uh, flavor in them. Uh, these wines all have a little bit of, of five of the Bordeaux red varietals. Uh, the only one, I grow it, but the only one we don't use in our wines, just because it doesn't match the flavor Jean Francois after, uh, is Carmenere. Okay. So there's a little petit Bordeaux, a little, a little bit of uh, Merlot in the Cabernet, a little bit of uh, Cab, Franc. Cab Franc, a little bit of Malbec. Okay. Yeah, but still, usually 92% or so Cabernet. Okay. The others are just a little bit of flavor. So Jean-Francois has grown from his days with Joe Heitz, said to believe Yes, <laughs> he's matured. <laughs> <laughs> I get quite a lot more nose on this one, and I think that's because of the extra year of age, too. It's, uh, but uh, it's a beautiful wine. It is. Yeah. Uh, and again, you know, we're tasting three in a row. I can begin to feel a tiny bit of tannin on the palate. Yes. Yeah, but... It's not building to a point that it's going to block food flavor. In fact, if you're eating, it'll clean it up a little bit as you go through. I think maybe the black cherry overrides the red fruit a little bit yeah. in this one. Tartness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's just always fun to taste these as they evolve. Uh, people ask me all the time, when should you drink them? And right. like I mentioned, I think about year five, but in all honesty, uh, you really should try them on their first release. Right. Try them at least every couple of years and just see what you like because maybe you like that cigar box cedar right. that, you know, that all Cabernet goes to if it's well made. I like the fruit in here. And yeah. So, you know, yeah, I do too. And uh, if you saw the red apples alongside us, you know, California uh, tried to grow Fujis. They tasted great. They called them yellow dragons because they couldn't get that red color. And it's a day-night diurnal temperature difference that sets the acid in the apples. It's also what sets it in our grapes. That's why you see the, so much fruit flavor uh, in them. And this, this we get every year.